Good morning, fourth graders. Today's lesson is 1.2. Today we are gonna read and write numbers and our essential question is how can you read and write numbers through the hundred thousands? So let's unlock the problem. The International Space Station uses 262,400 solar cells to change the sunlight to electricity. Write 262,400 in standard form, word form, and expanded form. So we're gonna use a place value chart and each group of three digits is separated by a comma, which is called a period. So there's my comma, so that's one period and that's a second period. Each period has hundreds, tens, and ones. The greatest place value position in the thousands period is the hundred thousands. So remember I said that my comma is right here so this is the ones period, this is the thousands period, and each of them you have your ones, tens, hundreds. Ones, tens, hundreds. These are simply ones, tens, hundreds, but these are one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So the number 262,400 has two periods because it's gonna fit right in here, right? We did this yesterday a little bit, two, six, two, four, zero, zero. Okay, so that's the standard form. When you write it out in numbers, that is the standard form. The word form is when you actually write out the words. 262,400. And then expanded form is when you do the place value. So yesterday, remember how we said that this two represents 200,000 and this 10 represents 60,000 and this represents 2,000, and so on. So you're gonna take this two, which is the 200,000. You're gonna take this six, which is representing 60,000. This two, which is representing 2,000. And then this four, which is representing 400. Now if we had a number here and here, we would have written it out, but because they're zeros, we don't need to go any further. All right, so let's do this. So, we have the word form, we do not have the standard form, and we have some of the expanded form. So let's look, it says 92,000. So 92, my comma's gonna say thousand. 170, 170. Now if I'm writing this in expanded form, I've got my nine, which represents the 90,000. Two, which represents the 2,000. This one represents 100. And then my seven is 70. And again, there's nothing in the one spot, so you don't need to go any further. Let's look at this next one. This one, they're giving us the word form, right? So we have 200, okay, thousand, because it's 200,000, and then we just have seven ones. So we're gonna say in seven. So if I'm doing an expanded form, I've got 200,000, there's nothing in the ten thousands, nothing in the thousands, nothing in the hundreds, nothing in the tens, there's just the plus seven, all right? Okay, let's share and show. How can you use place value and period names to read and write this number in word form? Well, I can write the 324 in the thousands period. So when I'm doing my little chart, My comma is going to be right here, okay? And this is my thousands period, and this is my ones period. So this is going to be 324, okay? And then I can write, um, and then I can write 904 in the ones period, right? So then when I write my number, it's going to be 324. Thousand nine hundred and four. So now on these next ones, they want us to write it in two other forms. So in this for first one, it's already in written form. So it's saying four hundred and eight thousand seventeen. And if you need to use the use the place value chart, you know, do your thousands period, do your comma. 
do your ones period if that helps you okay and then the extra one the next one is to do expanded form so again I'm looking like we did yesterday this is worth four hundred thousand plus I don't have anything here but I do have this eight thousand okay plus I don't have anything here but I do have something in the ones ten and then I have something in the seven or in the ones place the tens place and the ones place all right so let's do this next one together so first let's do the expanded form so we have sixty thousand plus the next one is five thousand so you're basically taking the place value we did yesterday now you're combining it there's nothing in the hundreds but there's a five in the fifth in the ten so that's fifty plus the eight so there's my expanded form and then when I write it out this is saying sixty five there's my comma which is a thousand so sixty five thousand and then it's and fifty eight because there's nothing in the hundreds and fifty oops eight sorry for the mess Okay, so I want you to do the rest on your own, but you just need to look. So for example, they've given you the word form here, so you need to write it in the standard form, okay? And then you also need to write it in the number form. Same here, they've given you the word one, so you're gonna do that. Here they've given you the standard form, so you need to do the word form, and you need to do um, the written form. So you're gonna do that on all of these, and if you need help, I'm going to be at the carpet. Good luck.